In this video, we'll see uh, how to use a CX extension generator uh, for configuring child objects. Okay, so we have uh, uh, account plan uh, as an object. Uh, it's a custom object. And uh, suppose we are going to um, configure uh, for this um, account plan, right? So we add it, but it, it, uh, um, it basically adds the uh, the parent object uh, uh, details and then the default attachments notes uh, tabs for the for our uh, for the base uh, like as a base uh, pages. So, but if you have any custom objects, uh, so and if you want to add a new panel, so we need we can use this configure panel uh, and then we can add uh, this panels. Suppose. Uh, if we have a, a child object called uh, earlier plans, so there is already a child object for this for this uh, account plan object. So we have uh, this uh, this option came. So uh, we can create a sub sub view uh, also for this panel. So just simply uh, select that uh, object, select the child object, and click OK. So this panel will get created. So if we want to uh, rearrange these panels and all, so we can use uh, again, Visual Builder uh, Editor. Uh, it's not possible to reorder from here, but uh, it, it is possible from, uh, from the uh, Visual Builder Studio. And if you want to configure this abuse, uh, so by default, when we select this uh, child object, it, it asks uh, to check, uh, to, cre to create uh, the sub view. If we don't want, we can remove, but uh, ideally we should have uh, this, uh, uh, this sub view. Uh, sub view is nothing but uh, once we create you all, so you all uh, page, right? The, the page we will see is nothing but the sub view page. So, but notes and uh, attachments is the default one. Uh, so we, we get uh, with, uh, with all the pages that are uh, uh, so that are, that needs uh, for uh, notes and attachments. So, and uh, uh, currently we don't have uh, an option to add a one to M, M to M relationship objects as a panels here. Uh, <clears throat> it is currently uh, only uh, currently uh, we have uh, the child objects. But in in future, uh, we might uh, we might get that options, uh, but uh, uh, but there is no roadmap yet. Uh, the comparison uh, from previous uh, 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 from from now to previous is like we need to configure everything from scratch for each object earlier. So configuring a panel, then uh, adding a page, a uh, sub view. The, for, the, for all of this, we need to write a code and we need to use some template, uh, templates, uh, 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 fragments, uh, existing fragments, all, all we need to use previously. But now uh, it's all just a drag and drop or uh, just a configurator uh, kind of thing. But uh, still, uh, if you want to enable any custom panels, we might need to add. A, uh, we might need to still follow the same steps as um, like that we follow uh, earlier. Uh, 